listeners, welcome to our today's lesson on basic science and technology. We are going to talk about clearing of vegetation. Dr. Mrs. Chikeze PA is my name. Lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, learners should be able to do the following. Define land clearing, vegetation, undergrowth or brushes, and boulder. They should be able to give at least three reasons why we need to clear vegetation. Say at least three factors of consideration before vegetation clearing and explain at least two methods of clearing of vegetation. Introduction. Clearing of vegetation is part of the greater job which is carried out in preparing sites for construction projects. Trees and all sorts of vegetation on the site are removed at clearing phase. Definition of terms. What is land clearing or vegetation clearing? Land clearing is the removal and disposal of all vegetation, rubbish, and surface boulders embedded in the ground. What do we mean by vegetation? Vegetation is an assemblage of plant species in general with respect to geographical variation or scenery. What are undergrowth or brushes in vegetation? Undergrowth, which also is known as brushes, are shrubs and other low plants that are found under the shade of big trees on a forest floor. What is a Buddha in vegetation? A Buddha is a rock fragment with greater size than 256 millimeter in diameter found on a vegetation ground. Clearing of vegetation. Clearing of vegetation is the removal and disposal of all vegetation, rubbish, and surface borders embedded in the ground. Clearing vegetation is the first stage of the clearing process, beginning with the undergrowth or brushes. The undergrowth is more easily cleared and frees up space and room for equipment and labor to clear larger vegetation, such as bigger trees. Start by sizing up the situation to determine how much of the job you can handle yourself and which portions of the project might be given to contractors. Reasons for clearing of vegetation. There are several reasons for clearing vegetation, among which are one, to create a level building site, two, to prepare for cultivation, three, to prepare for fire safety, four, to plant grass, five, to improve the view of a specific area. Vegetation clearing involves removing all existing vegetation, rocks, and debris from the land in order to create a level building site. In some cases, land clearing is also done to prepare for cultivation, for fire safety, to clear the area, to improve the view, or to plant grass. Factors to consider before clearing of vegetation. 
The followings are among the factors to be considered before clearing a vegetation. 1. Cost involved in clearing of vegetation. 2. Size of the piece of land to be cleared. 3. Location of the piece of the land to be cleared. 4. Date of last land survey. And 5. Government authority permits. Initiating clearing of vegetation is a huge task and money involving because there are activities that should be paid for in clearing of vegetation. The wider the size of the piece of land to be cleared, the costlier it becomes. Again, land that is located near overhead or underground utility lines might make it difficult to use heavy equipment. More so, the date of the last land survey needs to be ascertained to verify the boundaries of the property. Lastly, but not the least, permits are needed for excavation of land in most areas because in some areas, certain trees cannot be removed by government order. Methods of clearing of vegetation. There are several methods of clearing vegetation, but for the purpose of this lesson, we shall look at the followings. Number one, cut and grind method. Number two, pushover method. Number three, Control burn method. Cut and grind method involves using a giant grinders that mow down everything on the land and grinds them into mulch. Tree stumps are not removed by this method, but rather they are cut level with the soil surface and left to decompose. Cut and grind is made possible by a high pressure machine known as disc mulcher. Push over land clearing. This involves using large machinery to push trees over with the roots intact and then move them to a central location of the site. This type of re remover may leave large holes in the ground where trees once stood, but the holes can be dealt with using a bulldozer or a backhoe. The control bomb method. This, although dangerous, is effective at removing all trees and um, brush from the designated area by starting a fire and containing it to only the area to be cleared. All growth can be burned completely to the ground and removed by the same construction equipment used to remove trees and other methods. Summary. Vegetation clearing can definitely be a big job. But if you take it step by step, it is doable. Start by sizing up the situation to determine how much of the job you can handle yourself and which portions of the project might be given to contractors. Dear listeners, we have come to the end of this lesson. Let us assess our understanding of the lesson with the following questions. Number one, how can you define the following terms? Land clearing, vegetation, undergrowth of brushes, and Buddha. Give at least three reasons why we need to clear vegetation. Say at least three factors to consider before clearing of vegetation and explain at least 
Two methods of clearing vegetation. Thanks for listening.